When doing the slip cast, you have your mold and then you would pour the material inside the mold. It dries and then you would pull the mold away from the casting. The gray areas here would be the casting. So just a simple cylinder, you pull this away and there's nothing for it to catch on. Here, you're pulling away from a block. It's rubbing these sides here, so you might be better off turning for a block to the sides this way so that it can pull in this direction. Because if you have anything indent into the sides here, it's going to catch. Um, like right here, this would rub against and then catch in here and it wouldn't be able to pull away from the mold. Might be able to pull it at a weird angle, but again, if you have an indent, the back side there is an indent, but it's in the direction of there's no overlap because it's in this straight line that it's moving. There's nothing for it to catch. Undercuts, up. Undercuts are basically little overhangs that keep the mold pulling away from the cast object. So in the gray here we would have the cast object and then the green is the mold here. If we pull this away, you can see where it would catch on the edges here, because you pull in one direction only. Um, these straight lines right here, you can see there's a little bit of issues that could be, usually you want to create what's known as a draft angle, so just a little bit of an angle, um, so it pulls away much easier. Over here, this kind of keystone cut is not possible because the mold would be stuck the part would be stuck to the mold. The mold wouldn't be able to pull away without tearing away with these little pieces here. The same with this little undercut here with this uh, wave shape. The reason why I'm pointing this wave shape out is because uh, the little blade on the side of the uh, last tiki has an issue with that. But on the side here, there's that little blade that he has, and there's also kind of a uh, circle shape that's pressed into there. And actually, there's an upper lip that rises on the front of the mug. Um, that will cause interference when we're trying to uh, separate the mold from the part that's been cast. If I turn on interference detection, select the cast part, and then the front of the mold. There's no interference when it's together because it's been molded that way. But if I move this out, start to pull it away from the mold, you can then see it's catching on the top edge there and it's catching here in the side edges as well. Pull it out further. Those will clear down below, but it's still catching on that top edge and actually still catching on the back edge there. So the way to fix that is to project layers. So turn off this part here. So this would be like a front projection so that it fills in the area so that it can then slip through easily. Um, again, you're probably going to have to put a little bit of a draft in there to make that one work. On this side, again, to have that so it projects. So when you pull straight away from the part that the mold doesn't catch on it. The upper lip up here is again, you'd have to project this curve, this front curve straight back. So it doesn't need to be completely going back, but as it curves down here, so it catches so that the front, the front over here, that it fills in so that it doesn't catch when you try to pull away the mold. So hopefully that makes sense and you can understand the challenges that are happening with this.